Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to find the roots of these functions. Let's start with the first example. We shall find the real roots of our function. In general, if we want to find roots, we just take our function and set it to zero. So I just put it like this. And now we have to solve this equation for x. We have x to the power of 3 in here, which is something that scares some people probably. But the good thing is that in the second part here, we also have an x. So we have x in both parts, so we can extract x. The zero is on the left side, that is good. And now if we extract x and put the rest into parentheses, what do we have in here? We had x to the power of 3, so if we extract one of those x's, we only have x to the power of 2 left in here. Then we have the minus. And here if we extract this one x, only the 4 is what's left in here. Okay, how does this help us now? Well, we have a product on the right side. So we have something times something equals 0. This is a really good situation we're in because now we can split this product. We can say either the first part equals 0, so either x equals 0, or the second part of our product equals 0. So, or everything that is in those parentheses equals 0. That's a really good thing how to solve these equations. So every time you have something times something equals zero, you can split your product into two parts, two easier parts. But the important part of this is that a zero is on the other side. If here is a seven or any other number, then it doesn't work. So be careful, only use it if you have something equals zero. Now let's take a look at our two equations here. We start with the left one, x equals 0. This equation is already solved for x, so we don't have to do anything else with this anymore. This is already one of the roots we were looking for. Okay, we found one. But maybe there are more roots in here. So we solve this equation for x as well. We have x squared in here and a number, so we can bring this number on the other side by adding 4 on both sides, then we get x squared on the left side. These two cancel out and on the right side we have 0 plus 4 equals 4. Now we have x squared equals 4. We want to get rid of the square to solve for x, so we take the square root on both sides. If we do that in an equation, we get two results, a positive and a negative result. The square root of 4 equals 2. And so we have two results plus 2 and negative 2. And so we found three roots, 0, 2 and negative 2. In our first example, let's see what we have in the second example. We're still searching for real roots. We have the same structure in here. We have x to the power of 3. Don't freak out <laughs> because we also have an x here. So we take this function and set it to 0. And we've learned that we can extract x out of this sum here to get a product. So we do that, extracting x, what is left in the parentheses. If we extract one of those three axes we have in here, we have two x to the power of 2, because we extracted one of them, plus, and here if we extract this one, only the 8 is left in here. Now we have a product again equals 0, perfect, to split this product into two parts. Either x equals 0, oh, we found a root already, or the part in the parentheses equals 0. Let's solve this for x as well. We can bring the 8 to the other side by subtracting 8 on both sides. So we have the 2x squared on the left side because this cancels out. And on the right side we have 0 minus 8 equals negative 8. 
Now, if we want to solve for x, we would have to get rid of the 2 here. So we divide both sides by 2. This cancels out then, and x squared is left. And on the other side, negative 8 divided by 2 equals negative 4. Now, if we want to solve for x, we would have to get rid of the square here. So we would take the square root on both sides. A square root of a negative number doesn't work with real numbers. We're only searching for real roots, not complex roots. So this doesn't give us any real roots, so we don't get more roots. The only root we found is x equals 0, and that's it. I hope you know how it works now. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!